Hi, you're listening to the Sales Journey Podcast, episode number 264, how to grow into your identity as a salesperson and love what you do. This is Joelle. Hi, and I'm one of the sales and leadership coaches with Emerge Sales Training. For those of you new to the podcast, this is the podcast for network marketers who want to up-level their sales and leadership skills while being a good human. Our coaching team releases new episodes every Wednesday and Saturday. We know you are going to want to have access to our amazing coaching team. We have free training available for you to make closing sales an enjoyable process for you and your customer, or how to make recruiting an enjoyable process for you and your potential business builder. Sign up at EmergeSalesTraining.com slash free training. So I love sales. I think sales is fun. I love coaching people in sales. And you may be thinking, I don't know how I feel about sales, but I wouldn't say it's fun. Or my experience with sales was just mm, so-so. And that's why I'm listening to this podcast. I'm here to tell you that having fun and loving your role as a salesperson is possible. Believe it or not, I didn't start my sales career thinking this way. Before I get into that story, let me tell you why I think talking about this topic is so important. As a sales and leadership coach with Emerge, I have the privilege of interacting and coaching a lot of network marketers. When we start coaching, we often talk about what they're excited about learning and the skills they want to develop. Many of them say, I fell in love with the product and I decided to build this business. I am here to gain sales and leadership skills to help me be successful in this. I don't often hear, I really wanted to have a career in sales or be a salesperson. But that's what you are, a salesperson. I'm going to let that sink in for a minute. I read an article called Five Sales Experts Explain Why They Love Selling. And it was really interesting. The article mentions at the very beginning, it is possible to have a career in sales without really loving it. But it's easier to have a long and successful career if you have a passion for it. I know that you all love the products you sell. So a long and successful career would be important, I'd imagine, right? So let's talk about some key principles to ignite that passion for this profession and help you grow in your identity as a salesperson. So number one, Good salespeople are focused on helping buyers solve their problems. When you focus on serving others, people naturally want to do business with you. It's more about how much you give than how much you get. Number two, you get to meet new people and learn new things from them. I love connecting with new people and hearing about their lives. I get to learn cool things about what it's like to live in different areas. You know, so focus not so much on the act of making that phone call, but what cool people could be on the other end of that line. In sales, number three is in sales, you have the ability to build long lasting relationships that build into true friendships. When you meet with someone, think about how it's not just about selling them something. It's about starting to build a relationship with them. Some of the strongest friendships that I have in my life started with me in the role of a salesperson helping to provide a solution to their need or providing a service. Those relationships have stood the test of time. Those are some of my truest and dearest friends. So I'm thankful for my career in sales, for bringing me, you know, to those people and, and bringing us together. 
every day, number four is every day brings with it new challenges. I love this part of my job because I get to find more efficient ways to help more people and serve them well. It pushes me to be at my best. I know a lot of our students come to us for help because they want to work smarter to help more people, not harder. So instead of looking at that time you have blocked out for prospecting with a little bit of apprehension, think about the ways you could reach more people in that time. And truly, number five is it's all about the people, not really the activities we engage in that propels us forward. It's more than just a phone call. It's more than just a meeting. Sales is about leading with your heart. I don't always love the phone in all my career in sales. Can you believe I just said that? Right. I don't always love the phone, but I love the person on the other end of it. I figure if the phone has to be in the middle, so be it. As I told you in the beginning of this podcast, I grew into my sales role. My job title at the time I began this journey did not indicate that the role was to sell stuff to people. My perspective was that I was helping people make a decision that would make their lives better. As the, my years in the sales role grew in number, I grew into my identity as a salesperson. To me, being in sales means being of service to others. That is something that I love and something I think is super fun. If you focus on the key principles I shared and find one that resonates with you most, I hope it helps you find your salesperson identity and that with that comes a long and successful career in selling the products you love. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. To sign up for one of our free trainings on closing or recruiting, go to EmergeSalesTraining.com slash free training. If you enjoyed today's podcast, be sure to give it, be sure to share it with your friends and leave us a review in iTunes because it's not nice not to share. Have a great day.